I think for an organization like San Francisco Community Health Center, growth is inevitable. It's like a seed where you plant it and then you nurture it, you put water, you put all the fertilizer in. We've learned how to do that. We've really nailed it down. For the trans services, I feel like our trajectory is just going up. Everything just rolled out like magic. The next chapter of Trans Thrive has arrived. <laughs> It's here. We recently acquired a space. It's a very beautiful space, 6,000 square feet. It is a dream come true for our health center. All of our trans services under one roof in its own home that it's going to be by and for the trans community. I am still going through my transition. This agency, as well as this new place that we're sitting in, it, it's just brought me to my knees again thanking Creator for everything that they supply for us that's now allowing me to grow further. I want this place to symbolize hope for anyone that is struggling in their transition or just struggling in general just because they're trans or non-binary. It actually being brought to life is such an amazing thing. This is a place that you can elevate and be looked at like an example. My community, the transgender community, is capable of doing things. Their potential is unlimited. I know it's going to be a game changer. It's on. We got to show up and we got to do what we're supposed to do. This was that opportunity, that opportunity to grow as a community, be part of an organization where they support us, they support the programs. That's what this place is here at 1460 Pine Street hopes and dreams can be realized. This is the biggest outreach I've ever seen in my life. I know it's gonna be so powerful for the trans community. We said, let's deliver. Let's try to give it to them what they're asking for. Reality kicked in, here we have it. Here we have it. That is a good feeling for the trans community.